Hello YouTube and Facebook. Welcome to another review with me, John. Today I'm going to be reviewing a beer. But not just any beer. This beer is pretty special. It's special because there's something missing. What could it be? Well, without delaying any further, let me show you the beer. This is what the side of the beer looks like. You can't tell anything about it by looking at the side. This is what the back of it looks like. I'm probably holding it too far away for you to notice anything special. Now let me show you the most important part. It is imported caliber and it's made by the Brewers of Guinness. So it must be really good. Guinness is a good beer, right? Well, here's the most important phrase. It's non-alcoholic. This beer has less than 0.05, no, less than 0.5% alcohol by volume, which qualifies it as a non-alcoholic beer. Now, why would I have an alcoholic beer, you say? Why would a non-alcoholic beer not have a twister? I came prepared, though. Well, if you followed some of my reviews previously, you've seen that I've done the Curious Elixir non-alcoholic cocktails. Well, if you're not a cocktail drinker, you may want to drink some beer. So, if Guinness makes it one, it must be good. Guinness is probably one of the better uh, beers that are out there that's a macro brewer. It's a nitrogen infused uh, would be a stout. I think it's called a st it would be considered a stout. It's a dark beer. This is not a dark beer though. This is a um, it doesn't really say what it is. It just says premium brew. Calibur delivers all the great tastes of a premium import, fully brewed and fully fermented with less alcohol than beer. Anyway, let's see what it looks like in the Sox Cup. Well, there you have it. It's a nice. A nice rich tone. A decent head on it. It almost has a yeasty smell to it. Though it shouldn't have yeast in it because yeast is what makes alcohol. But this say it was fully brewed and fully fermented. So maybe it was fermented and then somehow the alcohol was taken out. I don't know. How do they make non-alcoholic beer? Anyway, let's give it a taste. Not much of the smell department, I would say. But let's see what it tastes like. Well. Here's how I would describe it. As long as you keep drinking it, it tastes like any other Pilsner Lager style Americanized beer. As long as it keeps rushing over my tongue, you taste some like slight bitter hoppiness followed by some carbonation. As soon as you stop having the constant flow of it on your tongue, it tastes like a sweet malt flavor. It's still in my mouth right now. If I licked inside my mouth, it's just sweet malt. If you've ever had, there's a, a Mexican drink called Malta Goya, and it's basically just like a malt flavored soda, and that's like the finish you get from this. It tastes like a malt soda. A 
very sweet malt at the end. Now, I will say, I've tried other non-alcoholic beers before. I've tried Old Duels. I've tried uh, Coors non-alcoholic. And this caliber actually tastes a little bit better than those, I'd say. Most of them just hit you with malt and stay with malt. This one has a little bit of that hoppy bitterness, at least at the beginning. And it has an, a, like, a slight yeasty smell to it. Almost like baking bread. But that's really what you're going to get with a non-alcoholic beer. Because the sugar hasn't been eaten by and turned into alcohol from the yeast. So this has all the sugar that was created when they first brewed the malt in there. As far as non-alcoholic beers that I've had, this is probably one of the top. That being said, it's still not a really good replacement if you really want a good beer. I've yet to have a non-alcoholic beer that was like really delicious. And if I have to give this one something out of 10, I would probably give it a 7.75 out of 10. It's like a 77.5%. It's a C plus. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned for the next one. Until next time guys, enjoy yourselves.